inflate uh, the yellow balloon leaving a 6 inch flat tail. It is the first 2 inch bubble. It is the second soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. Twist the third one inch bubble. Twist the fourth soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fourth bubble in one lock twist. Twist the fifth four inch bubble. Twist the 6 soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the 6th bubble in one lock twist. Twist the 7th 1 inch bubble. Twist the 8th soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the 8th bubble in one lock twist. Twist the 9th 3 inch bubble. Twist the 10th soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the 10th bubble in one lock twist. Twist the 11th 4 inch bubble. Twist the 12th soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the 12th bubble in one lock twist. Twist the 13th 3 inch bubble. Our goal is to make the square shape. Lock both ends of the chain of the last 12 bubbles in one lock twist. It looks like I made very close to the square shape. Twist the 14th 4 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last 7 bubbles in one lock twist. Here we have to arrange both ends of the balloon on the same side of the square. It is the face side and uh, this one is the back side. Twist the 15th 2 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the first 15 bubbles in one lock twist. The rest of the balloon is the 16th bubble. It is the nose of the SpongeBob. Basically we have made the head of the SpongeBob. Here's the front view. And here's the back view. Let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. There are many different ways we can decorate this sculpture to make it more recognizable. For example, we can use a white balloon to make the eyes, teeth, uh, same balloon to make the arms. So let's inflate the white balloon leaving a 6 inch flat tail. Even the arms, well, everything can be done in different ways. This is the first soft 1 inch bubble. Twist the second soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. For the nut of the balloon between the bubbles to secure the lock. Twist the third soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the third bubble 
and one leg twist. By the way, the arms and the legs can be done in the same way. You can just use different color balloons to distinguish between arms and legs. Now let's lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. At the same time we lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. We have made the hand. Twist the fourth 3 inch bubble. Twist the fifth soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. We have made the arm. We can make full size arm where the fifth bubble would be the elbow. Well, I'm not going to do it now. Let's cut off the rest of the white balloon. Do not deflate the balloon. We're going to use it to make the second arm and the eyes and teeth. Tie off the end of the balloon. Now we're going to make the second arm in the same way as we did the first arm. Let me just fix the end of the balloon. Secure it nicely. So let's twist the first soft one inch bubble. Twist the second soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain the first two bubbles in one lock twist. Force the nut of the balloon between the bubbles to secure the lock. Twist the third soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the third bubble in one lock twist. Lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. At the same time we lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. We have made the hand. Now let me check what size arm bubble we have to twist. It should be the same as the first arm. We have twist the fourth about three inch bubble. Compare the bubbles. Yes, they look the same size. Twist the fifth soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. Cut off the rest of the white balloon nicely. We have made the second arm and the rest of the white balloon we are going to use to make the eyes and the teeth. So tie end of the white balloon. Just make sure there is some uh, flat tail left enough to make four more bubbles. Deflate the balloon slightly if you have to make the flat tail. Ok, so far we have made two arms. Let's attach the arms to the square. I forgot to secure the end of the balloon. So we're going to lock the white fifth bubble with the yellow second bubble. Just for the white bubble between the yellow bubbles. I also like to arrange the fifth white bubble on the back side of the square and the fourth white bubble I fix between the white fifth bubble and the yellow second bubble. Ok, we attached one arm. Let's attach the second arm on the upper side side of the square. We lock the white fifth bubble of the second arm uh, with the yellow eighth bubble. We do it in the same way as we did the first arm. Take your time, fix it nicely. This is the back view, the top view, and uh, this is the front view. Mm. 
this is a side view. There is some more work to be done. We need to make the keys, the arms and the legs. So let's use the rest of the white balloon to make the keys and the eyes. Put with the first white one inch bubble, with the second one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. Secure the lock. We have made the teeth. The next two bubbles we twist to make the eyes. Twist the third two inch bubble. You can actually check the size whether it is good before you twist the bubble. Yes, I got it about two inches. Twist the fourth two inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Uh, we don't need the rest of the white balloon. So let's cut it off and tie off the end. And now we are going to attach the eyes and the teeth between the nose and the rest of the yellow balloon. Let's for the white bubbles between the last yellow bubble and the nose bubble. I think it is also the 16th bubble. Well anyway, between this yellow bubble and the rest of the yellow balloon. Arrange the eye bubbles on the top of the nose and the teeth under the nose. Fix all bubbles in proper position. Here is the front view, this is the top view, this is the side view and this is the back view. So far we have done quite well. Now we are going to make the legs. Inflate the black balloon leaving a 6 inch flat tail. Twist the first black 2 inch bubble. Twist the second 2 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the first two bubbles in one lock twist. Secure the lock. Twist the third soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the third bubble in one lock twist. We have made the full. Twist the fourth 4 inch bubble. Twist the fifth soft one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. We have made one leg. Cut off the rest of the black balloon nicely. Tie off the end of the black balloon. We are going to make the second leg in the same way. Twist the first 2 inch bubble. Twist the second 2 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the first 2 bubbles in one lock twist and secure the lock. Twist the third soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the third bubble in one lock twist. Twist the fourth 4 inch bubble. Just make sure both uh, legs of the same size. Twist the fifth soft 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fifth bubble in one lock twist. Cut off the rest of the black balloon. Secure the end of the balloon. We have made two legs.
Now we are going to attach the black legs to the yellow square, the sponge bubble. You have to lock the fifth black bubble uh, with the fourth yellow bubble. Fix the black fifth bubble on the back side of the square. And the fourth black bubble between the fifth black bubble and the fourth yellow bubble. We attach the second leg in the same fashion. Lock the fifth black bubble with the yellow sixth bubble. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Here's the front view. This is the side view and the back view. I can hear some criticism already. The SpongeBob supposed to have white short. Well, not this time. I would rather this time make something red color. Let's inflate a red balloon. I'm going to make one soft red bubble. First, uh, let's attach the end of the red balloon between the arm bubble and the yellow square. Hide the red knot between the bubbles. Now we twist red soft about 3 inch bubble. And we lock the free end of this red bubble on the opposite side of the yellow square between the yellow square and the second uh, white arm. Cut off the rest of the red balloon. Let's secure the end of the red balloon between bubbles of the yellow square. We place the red bubble under the nose bubble in the lower part of the yellow square. Here's a back view. Let's fix all bubbles in proper positions. Here's a front view. This is a top view. This is a side view. I usually use uh, the black permanent marker to draw the eyes. That's it. Congratulations, we have made the SpongeBob. I think I didn't show one view. Here's the bottom view. Have fun and happy twisting.